All right, what is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to bring you through my new workout routine. I got a ton of questions about my training. I kind of hinted at it in the previous video with the full day of eating while bulking. It is Dorian style training, quote unquote, or people like to call it low volume, high intensity style training. I'm gonna bring you through that style of training inside the gym and I'm gonna kind of go over things. We got triceps and shoulders today. Not really like a normal day that you would train. My split is triceps, shoulders, and then I do back and rear delts and then I rest and then I do chest and biceps and then legs and then rest again and then repeat so I'm pretty much training every muscle group like once every five to six days so I'm always recovered always beating my numbers I just feel good I feel great when I was doing this style of training with the six or seven days a week I just felt like I wasn't recovering enough. I couldn't go as hard in the gym, which I, I love going harder than gym with my sports background and stuff. Bulking update, I am having to increase my calories to 4,000 now rather than 3,750. My body has just been chilling at 202 point whatever for like the past two weeks, so I'm gonna have to eat more calories. Like I said, everybody's body is different. Mine just likes to adjust really quickly, so I have to adjust the calories. All right, but anyways, before we head to the gym, we're gonna run some glycerol and some mode. I like to run glycerol and then also obviously the Rice Krispies and the car, but I like to run glycerol. It's just like hyper hydration to simplify it. So it enhances your pumps. It gets more fuel to the muscles. I mean, our body is 70% water. So if you're not drinking enough water and if you're not hydrated enough, just in general, you're not gonna get good pumps. So yeah. First exercise, after you warm up, of course, I just warm up with some bands, get the rotator cuffs going, get some blood flowing. We got Smith Machine shoulder press. I prefer C to Smith Machine, just because it's a fixed movement. It's a lot safer, especially when you're going to failure. Protocol for reps and sets with compounds, I, I would call this a compound. I do anywhere from six to eight reps to complete failure. I do two warm up sets on every exercise, 10 to 12 reps, but strictly compounds, I do six to eight reps, and then everything else I do anywhere from like 8 to 12 reps but that last set that top set after the warm-ups always the failure I'm in the business of misery let's take it from the top she's got a body like an hourglass it's ticking like a clock it's a matter of time before we all run out when I thought he was mine she caught him by the cops I waited a long run she finally set him free I told him I could So wrap that up, just one set. I beat my weight by one rep, same weight, just eight reps instead of seven like last week. And then the week before that, I think I hit six. So it's all about progressing in weight, reps, or controlled eccentric, shorter rest periods. You can manipulate a lot to get progressive overload, but you wanna make sure that you're progressing from week to week. It's a lot easier, like I said, since you're resting like five to six days before you train muscle groups, so they're fully recouped and recovered before you hit them again. So it should be easy to recover. Now we're gonna do side lateral raises. I like to do them seated just so you don't cheat as much and there's like less momentum with your legs and everything. I like to go heavy on these. Eight to 10 reps instead of six to eight since it's just the isolation movement. Same thing, two warm-up sets, 10 to 12 reps. Next up, we got cable side lateral raises. So this just keeps constant tension throughout the movement. With normal side lateral raises, you don't get a ton with this. Since it is a cable, it's constant tension throughout the movement. With these, when I get to the top of the movement, I like to give a slight pause, just at the contraction of it. That's just preference. That makes me keep, keep things strict. Same thing, eight to 10 reps. Second chances, they don't never matter. Never change. Was a whore, you're nothing more. I'm sorry, that will never change. And about forgiveness, we're both supposed to have exchange. Sorry, honey, but I pass it. I'm not look this way. Well, there's a million other girls that do it just like you, looking as innocent as possible to get to who they want and what they like. It's easy if you do it right. Well, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. So, with this, 
I did, I did 15 last week, and I wasn't quite ready to jump up to the 20, so I just put a 2.5. You can do that. You can kind of just like G-rig it. It looks kind of scuffed, but it works. Instead of going up five pounds, you go up 2.5 pounds. Makes sense. And then I hit like eight reps, so I'll try to hit like nine to 12 next session. Next up, we got some big boy alpha dumbbell shrugs. I like to do it with dumbbells so it's more free because I like to kind of twist it into a contraction. Don't do not do shrugs like this. I see people doing this. This isn't even contracting your trap. You're, you just look stupid. Your, your back and your traps contract like this into like an angle. So when you shrug, you kind of want to twist the dumbbells into an angle rather than just fucking looking like a... What is that? What does that even look like? <laughs> fucking jackhammer dudes? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Don't do that. You're not doing anything for your traps. Same thing. 10 to 12 reps. Do a couple sets to warm up and then do a heavy ass set 8 to 10. So that is a wrap for shoulders. Finish it off with the uh, shrugs. Now we got triceps. First one is cable tricep push down. I like to do this bar. If you have an easy bar, style bar like this that curves, it's just easier on the wrist than the fixed movement. Cause like, e even look at that. That doesn't fucking look right. It's not even lined up with your forearm. So it just makes for a more natural positioning when you're pushing down with cable push downs. And you just feel a better contraction in your tricep. More constant tension rather than kind of like in a fixed movement where your wrist bends and it's not natural. Yeah, I just prefer it. If you like the straight bar, by all means do it, but I prefer this one. Same protocol, like 10 to, t 10 to 12 reps to warm up, kind of get the triceps moving since it's like the new muscle group that you're training, and then eight to 10 for the top set. So next we got Easy Bar Skull Crushers. I did 80s for nine last week, so I'm gonna go ahead and try 10. I'm gonna warm up though, still warm up. Every single exercise warm up, I can't stress that enough. You're gonna be stronger and your motor pathways are gonna be firing in that movement. You kinda just wanna get a feel for it. Even if you're not going insanely heavy, like maybe my second warm up, I'm like 80% of my one rep max for my uh, working weight. So yeah, 70 pounds and then I'm gonna try 80 pounds for 10. Tank top out. Young Wah. Ah, uh, dang. I did it. All right, so wrapping it up with reverse grip um, tricep extension, I would call it. I like to do this one to finish off because you can't really do as much weight. And plus, you're not going to do a lot of weight in this reverse grip style just because there can be a lot of pressure on the wrist. And when you're going like 
super heavy, your wrist will give. So a lot of leaving it, the ego at the door, just getting a good contraction. You don't get a lot of this contraction with your triceps. It's either this or like a high point long head contraction. So it's good to get this. I think it's called like the medial head. There's like a smaller head of your tricep that connects closer to your elbow. It's good to train it. A lot of people neglect it, so I like to finish off with it. Same thing, eight to 10 reps, but you're definitely not gonna go as heavy as you would think. Look at this like look at this dramatic cinematic of him washing well, his hands. Better have some copyright laws on this shit, dude. <laughs>